Hi, I'm Christy McHugh, the 6th through 12th math coordinator. And I'm Jenny Kravitz, the 6th through 12th science coordinator. And we're going to present to you some of our new STEM course offerings that are exciting for next year. These are some exciting math and computer science classes for next year. The first class is Advanced Quantitative Reasoning. This is a great course for students who are more creative thinkers and want to actually apply some of the math they've learned to uh, authentic problem-solving situations. The class is a full-year course, it's great for juniors and specifically for seniors who need that fourth math requirement but aren't necessarily looking to go into a STEM or business degree and um, don't need to take trig and pre-calc. The next class for our computer science department is called Exploring Computer Science. This is a course that's nationally offered. We are partnering with Framingham State University and a consortium of schools across the state that also offer this class. We'll be splitting it into two parts to make it more accessible for freshmen and all students. If you really just want a broad opening of what computer science is, how to problem solve, some algorithms that you can use to do some web programming and basic programming, Part A is a really fantastic class for that. The next part of the class is Part B, which students who want to move on to engineering or programming, this is a more thorough, in-depth look at it. We go into programming and applying the programming skills more thoroughly. So we have some great new course offerings in science as well. Um, first off, I'm very excited about AP Environmental Science. When you look at um, the suite of AP Science courses, this is the only one we haven't previously been able to offer. Um, so now this jumps in with our AP Bio, AP Chem, AP Physics. We now have AP Environmental Science. Um, this is really going to look at the interrelationships of the natural world. Um, you can find a full course description on uh, the program of studies or even at the AP Central site through the College Board. Um, the requirements for this are the same as any other AP Science course. Uh, students must be currently enrolled in an honors level course and um, have at least an 87 average. There will be summer work that is required of students going into this course and in May the students are expected to take the AP Environmental Science exam. Um, with the environmental science program starting up, we're also starting up a CP1, CP2 bi-leveled environmental science course, which is going to cover a lot of the same topic, topics, but um, the level of rigor and workload will be more appropriate to a CP level. Um, so that's a great option for our juniors and seniors. It is a full year course. Um, it, and we're also starting a CP1 and 2 uh, bi-leveled anatomy and physiology. Uh, to add to our current offering of Honors Anatomy and Physiology. Both of these courses are a great option for juniors to take as their third science um, instead of physics. If you're not a STEM-focused um, kid, you're not going uh, for a science um, uh, major in college, uh, the feedback from colleges is that environmental science and anatomy and physiology are great third year options um, in addition to physics. Um, so you wouldn't necessarily have to take physics. Um, and then we also have some adjustments to the forensic biotechnology semester course. It has always been offered at the CP1 level. It is now being offered additionally at the CP2 level, which is embedded as a bi-level course. Physics is not a prerequisite for this course, um, so we're hoping that that's an option for some more people that are interested in this topic. And then just a few reminders in general uh, that if your student is uh, anticipating a STEM-related major that uh, we strongly recommend biology, chemistry, and physics um, for three of those science years. Um, in addition, when you look at the override policy in the science department, you can only override one level. So for example, a CP1 student cannot override to AP because that is two levels, CP to honors to AP. Um, you can find all of the descriptions and the prerequisite prerequisites in the program of studies online and of course any questions that you have for me um, you can contact me my email my uh, phone number and extension are right there on the slide so I look forward to helping you um, figure out the best course for your student. Thank you for watching our brief presentation. We hope that it was informative and helped you to understand your options as we broaden our offerings for your students to plan for the future. Please don't hesitate to ask us if you have any questions about any of the courses we are offering or any of the classes that are currently offered. Thanks again for your time.